in every single way, I'm the exact same person I've always been. But I value being the best, most authentic version of yourself that you can be. And so that's the purpose of this video. That's what I want to talk to you guys about today. Hello everybody, welcome back. This is like the seventh time I've tried to film this video in all of my other tries either the lighting wasn't right or at one point my camera died at one point i forgot to turn on my microphone so that was annoying so i'm currently walking my dog before the sun sets so i wouldn't have to deal with artificial lighting and i could just use natural lighting so anyway this is going to be my official coming out video, which this probably comes as a surprise to like none of you, but I am part of the LGBT community. And I feel like most people know this about me, but they don't exactly know like where I fit or what labels to use for me, what pronouns to use for me, etc, etc. So I wanted to make a video to clear up any questions about who I am, where I fit in, and all of that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to start by talking about attraction and who I'm attracted to. I'm attracted to femininity, and I say that because while I am attracted to women, both cis or trans, I don't really have any preferences in that regard, I am also interested in non-binary people who just happen to be more on the feminine side of things versus the masculine side of things. I typically use the label of bisexual because I'm technically attracted to more than one gender, not just women, but I am attracted to femininity, so the label of lesbian could apply to me as well. Which brings me into the second, more difficult topic that I wanted to talk about in this video. I am non-binary. That's the label that I use most often for myself, which simply means that I don't identify 100% with masculinity or femininity. I identify with masculinity 0% of the time, not at all literally at all. But in terms of femininity, I would say that it's anywhere from 40 to 60 percent on any given day, and the rest of me is just neutral, I guess. Like, on any given day, I don't really necessarily feel like a man. Well, I never feel like a man, but I don't really feel like a man or a woman. I just feel like me. But I'm a lot more comfortable presenting as feminine with makeup, wig, feminine tops, pants, dresses, skirts, etc. I do identify more with the feminine end of things, so if you refer to me as a trans woman or as a woman, things like that, I'm totally comfortable with those descriptors, those labels. Last few things, I use she, her, or they, them pronouns. I typically use she, her pronouns but a lot of my friends do use they them pronouns for me and it's totally cool but typically for myself i'll use she her pronouns and those feel most comfortable for me as far as names go i don't really dislike the name that's been given to me like it's a name that means a lot to me because i'm named after my dad and my dad is someone who's important to me but the name i've chosen for myself is maddie or madeline and that's the name that moving forward i will be using for myself and i think that's about it for this video. If you have any questions, if there's anything that I didn't answer in this video, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to answer any questions you might have. If you have any other questions, LGBT related or not, please feel free to leave them down below. I love answering questions. If you have ideas for future videos, I'd love to hear those. Leave them down in the comments below. And for now, I am signing off. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. This was a good idea in concept, filming outside where there wouldn't be, you know, people running around and whatnot. But now we have the dogs, and the dogs are adorable, but the dogs are loud. <laughs>